Marlene and I'm back again with another video. Today we're going to have a collective haul. Let's see if I can get, oh, my camera's just shaking. If I can get all of this in. We have some Bath and Body Works. Leave it there without it falling. Then we have some Michael Kors and some Coach and the cosmetic company. So I went to the outlets today. Y'all, I was roaming around and when it was time to come home, because I also went to TJ Maxx. I was looking for some Pat McGrath eyeshadow. Why? When I don't have no eyeshadow on, no makeup on, barely put some um, lip gloss on, but I was on the lookout for it. Did not find none. And I'm going to tell y'all, on the way home, whew, it was torture. I was falling asleep because I've been up and out since 7.30. Well, I've been up before that, but I got out the house about 7.30 and did not get back. I've probably been gone for 12 hours. I was so sleepy. Ooh. But anyway, I made it. <laughs> Hopefully that don't fall. Because we're going to start with the lighter items. I'm going to start with the cosmetic company. Save what y'all want for the last. I know y'all love Bath and Body Works, so I'll save that for last. I don't think I've ever had... I don't know what's all over this package. Anyway, I don't think I've ever bought the MAC fix so i just bought the mini this is the um the spray to set your makeup so i yeah i just bought the mini this was five dollars so i just bought it to try it mm. did i get one that was already used because it's sure not filled up to the top but well, it's only a one ounce so that's what that looks like. And it says, it hydrates, sets, and refreshes, improves the quality of makeup, wear up to 12 hours, can be used under and over makeup. If you love me, check me out in full size. So I got that. And then I bought two lip glosses. I think this is the packaging that got something on it. This is... Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I had it on before I put this one on. I can't tell how extreme it is. This is the color, but it pretty much came out clear. It had a little bit of um, tingling-y, tingle, tingle to it. <laughs> so that's what that looks like. And this color I have on right here. This is a MAC Dazzle Glass. This is what it looks like in the packaging. This is what it looks like after you had it on for a little while. And I'll show you how it looks when you first put it on. Pretty much the same. Maybe a little bit brighter. It looks more purpley or magenta. Plum, I don't know, in the bottle. But it comes out clear with a little tinge of color. So, I like it by itself. And it'll be pretty over some plum or pink lipstick. It has some sparkles in it. So, that's pretty. This one, did I say the name of it? Okay, so this one is Oh, girl, get it together. This one is called Tangerine Dream. But it's very clear when you put it on. And this one is called Funtapulous. Funtapulous. Can you see that? It looks blurry, hopefully. Okay, hopefully you got to see that. Funtapulous. And that's that. So... 
these three items came up to $20, $21. This was five, this was five, and the MAC lip gloss was 11. So that was $21 spent there. Not bad. I was looking for one of those good old um, Discovery fragrance scents, like from Killian or somebody. But didn't find that. They did have a few Tom Ford fragrances. I can't even remember the names. I know one was Rose Prick. They had some um, higher-end Estee Lauders. Estee Lauder. Lauder. Y'all know what I'm saying. Estee Lauder. Okay. And those were half off. I think all the fragrances were half off. So, that was that. Then, I went on down. I'm dropping stuff. Went on down to... Michael Kors. I bought this little wallet. Y'all should see the wallet that I've been working with. I just threw it away. It, it was a real wallet that you open up, not these little flat ones. But when I opened that thing up, the leather was coming off. It was just crumbling off. It was a coach wallet. And it was just crumbling off. But I have, I've been carrying a lot of smaller purses. So these will work, or this will work for my smaller purse. And I will just use it in the brown and tan purse that I have. And for the meanwhile, it's going to be used in my off-white purse. This Michael Kors. And I have a little coach purse that's red that this can fit in. Until I buy some more. So this one was 39 yeah this was 39 because you know they get they had like 75 percent off today so the original price was 188 so that was marked down to 39. And it'll be just fine. You can put some cards in there. You can put some additional cards or whatever in there. Put your ID in here so you can see it. And you put your money and your change in here. Oh, I didn't even notice it has another has another little pocket in here. So it has enough little pockets. It's, it'll do what it's supposed to do. So that's good. Then I bought a tank sweater I didn't try it on I just picked it up this is a large and it's just a black tank what is that on there in here it looks like something is on it when I'm looking at it it doesn't look like anything is on it yeah it looks like something is on it like in a smile I don't know. But anyway, this is the tank. This was $21. Has a little Michael Kors thing right there. And I like the the weight of Michael Kors sweater things. And it has a bit of a sheen. Oh, now it's coming across. So you can see a bit of a sheen on it. But I don't know what's that. I have to wipe it off. Or wash it. But anyway, that'll be something to pair with anything. Okay, so that's it for Michael Kors. The original price on that was $84, but I got it for $21. So we'll put that over there with this wallet. Then... Out of the coach bag, I bought two items. I bought this wallet that was in the wrong bag because I already took it out. So I just bought this flat black one. I'm going to use it as a wallet for now, but I'm 
pretty sure I'm going to end up getting one of those other type wallets. But because my purse is kind of made in a C, things kind of just be all over the purse because it only has one pocket. So I said this would work even though it's coach and that's what Mark Jacobs, who cares? This is leathers, the embossed C's on there. I thought that was cute. So I have put some money and some cards in there because it has one pocket. But I could put other miscellaneous stuff when I get another. I thought I had another flat wallet here that was more of the material, but I can't find it. So for now, this will work. But this is really for miscellaneous things in my purse. So everything won't be rolling around in there. And it came with these two charms. This was $44. So I thought that was cute. Little wristlet. Y'all, I had to throw that other wallet out right away. It came in a cute gift box, but I threw that out too. So then, I've been wanting a silver purse for the longest. So I looked at one at Michael Kors. I didn't get that one because it wasn't leather. Went down to Coach, and I got this one. This is made like a back-in-the-day pocketbook or a change purse. So I thought that was kind of cute has the leather or yeah like leather suede in the inside has one little pocket and I got this for 112 y'all I like my little cross bodies so this big is big enough to put your phone in there and a few other items and that's what it looks like I can wear it as a crossbody which is how I will wear it that is cute I don't know if I can double it up just as just in case I wanted to carry but I don't like carrying purses so I don't care what I have on most likely it'll be a crossbody so that's what that looks like got it more for the color than the style, but I do like the little pocketbook style. Old timey. So, that's my items from Michael Kors and Coach. <laughs> I was trying to make it sure that, that this lip, stock, lips, lip gloss isn't doing that thing that some lip glosses do. Okay, so here is my outlet buy from Bath and Body Works. So this is my receipt and I only paid $41.02. So I got pretty good deals here. So oh, and I had some look I got some free items. So I'll start with that. Y'all, I, I fooled around and let one of my rewards expire. I was so mad at myself. Okay. So I got this Coco Paradise spray. with the reward I did smell this in store it smelled pretty nice and sweet so I got the travel pen spray As one of my free items, I don't think they put the notes on here. It's a sweet coconut scent. Nice and pleasant. Be nice for the summertime. I heard people talking about it on YouTube and they were... Oh, I was about to say, I know I didn't get a bottle that was busted. But they were comparing it to Tom Ford's 
um, Soleil Blanc. It's much sweeter than that. But I can see mixing it with it. And it's be and it, it will be pretty. So that's cool. Then I bought Cloud9. I picked up the lotion and the spray at first. Or the cream and the spray. And I was like, in my head, I'm like, you still have vanilla lotion, I believe. Not vanilla, but lavender lotion. So I was like, I'm going to use this with some other lotion I already have. So I just bought the Cloud Lines. I just... <laughs> I just picked up the Cloud 9. Oh my goodness. I remember looking for this at last year's Summer Sass. And I didn't get it on the first day and it was gone. It's a nice... Easy, um, fresh scent. So, this has notes of lavender breeze, morning dew drops, and cozy amber. So, I have that. Got that for free. Then, um, I had a free, what, $8.95 body care item. So I got the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. I really do. I really did end up liking this one. So I got the mini. So I can use that when I'm on vacation. If I'm physically on vacation or if I'm just on vacation in my mind. <laughs> so then I've never had this. I know this is. A lot of people's favorites are Oldie But Goodie. This is Central Amber. So they had the spray for half off in the store. And this cream was on the $2 table. Yeah, it was on the $2 table. So I got the cream for $2. And... This spray for $8.25. But I also had 20% off. They had a special 20% off. So I got that. This has notes of golden amber. What? Oh my God. Why I can't talk today. Golden amber, wild berries, orange flowers, lotus petals, creamy sandalwood. Maybe I'm trying to talk too fast. Maybe that's what it is. I was really getting the orange flower in this. I was like, oh, this is going to be pretty to wear to work because I do a lot of exercise at work. I should say I do a lot of sweating, but I do exercise at work on top of the work I do. And I think this will be nice and bright and pretty with that orange flower. I like that. Then I got some candles. So, the first candle I got, this is the chocolate banana mudslide. And from what I remember, I think I really like this when I burned it. It has that chocolate note in there. It's chocolate and banana. But the notes say frozen banana, chocolate syrup, crushed ice, and a splash of rum. I do think I really like this when I burned it. I could... I couldn't really remember, but it was only six dollars. So, how could I? How could I not get it? Even though it was another one over there that I didn't pick up. And I remember this. I'm tell y'all, I enjoyed Marshmallow Fireside. This was on the ten dollar table. Had to get it. I really enjoyed this. During Christmas time, it was so sweet and smoky, but pleasantly sweet to me. Oh, it has notes of toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, crystallized amber. If you have not tried this marshmallow fireside, give it a try. Don't be scared off by the, the smokiness that you get. 
in this fragrance. This is so good. And I blended it this Christmas or last Christmas with this Twisted Peppermint. It just smelled like Christmas in the house. It smells so good. This is Cool Peppermint, Sugar Snow, Fresh Balsam, Vanilla Buttercream, Hint of Musk. This is a Sweet Peppermint scent. And these two together, it's make, it makes your house smell like Christmas. So pretty. I said I was going to try... The Perfect Christmas, I think. I think that has like a cinnamon note in there and some other stuff. But I didn't pick that one up. I said if I go back in a few months and they still have it, maybe I'll pick it up and it might be cheaper. Because mm -hmm. nobody's going to be thinking about uh, these Christmas holiday scents. And this was on the $10 table too, even though they got new ones out watermelon lemonade i don't think i've ever had this one i had a watermelon scent but i don't think it was watermelon lemonade so i said i would try it this is watermelon ice sparkling water meyer lemon so i hope this smells good i, I think i heard people say that the watermelon scented candles really smell good so i'm hoping that's the case. So, that is... Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. One more thing. I got a fragrance spray, Lemon Cello, because I like this. I think I've had it in the candle and in the wallflower. I know I've had it in the wallflower, and I really enjoyed the scent. So this is Sorrento Lemons, Bright Lemon Zest, and Sugar Cane. So let's see. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. I wanted to see how much I end up paying for the candles. So the candles end up being $8. The banana candle that was six end up being $4.80. The sensual amber end up being six sixty. Oh, that was more expensive than the special they had the other day. Oh, and the other items are free. So that concludes my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I haven't had a Bath and Body Works or random type haul in a while. I have another Bath and Body Works haul coming for you. I may even have a Victoria's Secret haul. We'll see. So, I did hold off from buying the body care for a while, but I was buying perfumes. So, now I'm going to try to hold off from buying either or, unless they come out with my special beautiful fragrance by... Um, La We Treasure. If they come out with that one, I'm getting it. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe. Hello. Welcome to all the new and existing subscribers. Hope you enjoy it here. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you are if you're a new subscriber. Or how about leaving me a orange because i'm loving this scent leave me an orange in the comments if you're new to my page and i'll see you on the next one Bye bye